All right, hey guys, welcome. We're here going to react to the new Pokemon Direct, January 9th, 2020. Got like about one one minute left. It's 9:29. Um, just gonna watch the direct, uh, record my thoughts, see what they reveal. Hopefully, DLC, maybe some news about other stuff too, just to see what they are planning. Uh, what do you think they're gonna do? Well, hopefully they, they show something else like Pokemon adding new Pokemon. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Let's get started with the first topic. Have a look at the following footage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, it's a topic. Ooh, oh, <gasps> this is the remake, bro, hopefully. Because 2006, oh, no, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a side game, but still. Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, it's Mystery Dungeon. But I wanted a remake, I was so excited. But Mystery Dungeon Remake, that'd be pretty good. I never played them, because... Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, 2020, so it's a remake. Nah, I'm not really excited. It looks nice, but... It's a little, like, cartoony, like... It, it's supposed to be a dream. Oh, nice. Pokemon this is Mystery the... Dungeon. Rescue Team DX. Oh, see, it's all together. That's better. That looks good. I'm not. I'm not that excited, but <laughs> I know they were gonna announce a side game. It looks really nice, but I mean, I might try it. It's like an RPG, so it's like an OG RPG, but and they all talk and stuff. I'm not sure if I raise the volume, if it'll, you can hear it Pokemon in the mic. Mystery Dungeon. So I'd rather just Rescue like Team DX. lower it. I mean, hey, great, all, all, of you, all of you Mystery Dungeon people. It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo I mean, DS I mean, and I never played them. systems in Japan. I think Pokemon Ranger would have been cool. That one was hype. Oh, yeah, the one where you had to do the... Yeah, the stylus and, and wrap them around. Yeah. Pokemon Mystery I had that, but Rescue like... Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. March 6. <sighs> okay. What's Pretty more, good. I mean, I like that they put them together. You know? e oh look, I see. I'll, I'll try out the today. demo, see what it's like. But you'll be able to carry probably won't get it. Save data to the full version of the game once purchased. Like I, I was so excited. That's I was like 2006. That was definitely around the time of Diamond and Pearl, I think. Now, for the other topic, please take a look. I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Okay, okay, come on. Ooh, that's Game Freak. That's that's Mr. Masuda, <laughs> Mr. Omori. It's all yours. <laughs> Mr. Omori. Ooh. What, what are you guys doing? I mean, whatever you guys talk about. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Amori, also from Game Freak. Yes. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. Yeah, that's pretty good so far. Oh, that, that, sucked, that sucked. And the Gala region is a vast one. I just wanted to rush through it, but... We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. Honestly, yeah, like, it was always something new to find. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, Ooh. with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. There you go, DLC. Yeah, more story or... Hey, yeah, more story. We've been on plans for some time, in fact. Okay, okay. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Ooh. Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon nice. Shield an that will be available pass. for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Okay. Until now, we've sometimes <gasps> released new titles set Platinum. in the same region as previous games. Yeah, this, the, this, the, the, this is the Pokemon future, guys. Just do DLC. Don't make a Ultra freaking Sun freaking Pokemon Ultra number two game. game. Yeah, number two game. I don't want to buy the same game. This expansion pass will be different from those games. I think the only one that counts is Black and White 2 because it's a completely new story. But Black and like with. Pearl? No, wait. Platinum is like the same game. Even though that's my first game. Well, Diamond was my first game, but Platinum, some I, got it. I remember 2009, uh, Christmas Day on the RV. Uh -huh. Yeah. Please have a look. Okay, thank you. Let's see what's new. Damn, it's been so long. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yeah, imagine that thing chasing you in real life. Yeah. The bear wear. See that that scene there. 
I, I, I was gonna say, is it over yet? Ooh! Come on, give so me, yeah, give, give gonna, me, give me. They definitely have to bring the. Give me shanks. Pokemon I know, right? Here. Give me shanks. I want my lux free. Ooh! Oh, see islands. People would say saying, "What's he gonna get, Lugia?" Oh. Uh oh. Is that? Look at a, a Galarian Slowpoke. He has a tail. He actually has a tail. Oh, it's fresh. Is that a Lola? No, I don't know that guy. New characters. Ooh, look at his design. That's cool. Oh, is that a costume you can get? That's cute. You can change your hair. Okay. Oh, bro, no way. More customizable? I, I need more shoes. I feel like shoes we don't have enough. New bags. Oh, I can have the Kings. Oh, see, that's what I like. I don't like this. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh-oh. Look at him. Her. I'm not sure. He looks kind of cool, but Wait, I saw. Come on, show me shanks. Yeah, we're missing them. Oh, what evolutions. Oh, they got Mega Evolutions too? Oh my god, yes! They got Mega Evolutions. Oh, they stole Infernape's. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's a sniper. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <gasps> the Isle of Armor. Look, that's a new. That's a new dog. That's a new legendary. He's a. He's a. I don't know what's it. Ooh. A new new place. Yeah. Damn. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Environmental change. They're bringing weather to the game. Isn't that? No, that's a different place. No, no, but I mean weather, weather, as in. Dang, hey, there's a lot coming. Oh wow, dude, I'm gonna get all these costumes. See, Reggie. Oh, that mean that's that. No, no, Reggie Ice and Reggie Steel are a little lower uh, before that. But that looks cool. Ooh, that's, that's a Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Rock. What is that? Uh oh, they're covering his his uh a lo lower form, Galarian form. I feel like the, the boys should get more um. The boys should- ooh, Garchomp. The boys should get more costumes. I feel like you can only really make a difference with the girl. Like, stylistic-wise, look at that. They get Lolan clones, Omega clones. That's... Articuno, Zapdos. Yeah. Real cool. Yeah, they should be crazy, their, their Gigantamax ones. Please show me Shinx. I know, they're, they're recapping. Unless they've restarted somehow. This just ha this has happened before. Oh no, like something happened. Replay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. I just wanted to see what so he's he, the drum that, that See, Mega? that was that's a, a that's not a that's not a uh, that's a gigantic. So they when gigantic. they change form, it's a gigantic. Something happened. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. But see, this is a new dog. It's a yellow one. It's like an armor. That's that's Pokemon Gun. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. What would it be? Because there's already a shield. Pokemon Knight. I don't know. Usually the third Pokemon is a balance between both, or a third, well, not really, because time, space, alright, so they restarted it, but I'm sure people, yeah, people are saying it's a loop, but, see, so, so, Score Bunny, Score Bunny's evolution, or Gigantamax was, I, I saw a concept art that actually does fit better with Inferni, it'd be like the old monkeys, like, the, like Goku and a Nimbus, that's what it looked like, but I don't, I don't think it makes sense. Unless it's a, unless it's a, unless it's a ball, and he's like running on it, because he's like a soccer player. I still want Shanks to be in the game so I can have my luxury. I, I you know, I don't have an electric top in the team. Yamper, I know I, I started with him, but I didn't like the way he looked. He, he just looked too not menacing. I think he needs a third evolution or something. I feel like third evolution he needs to just look menacing. That's like the third evolution. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, there's a fourth? Well, we needed it. We said there's... Oh, that's why. Part one, part two. Wow. <coughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> They're going to reveal them. Look. Oh, these are fancy graphics. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, he looks way cooler. What is that new line? It looks like it's a myth. It's a legendary or mythical. Whoa, he's, look at this gigantic spider. Oh, what the heck? He's a fighting steel? <gasps> what is that? Damn, what is that? Wait, what? They have Gigantamag forms? Damn. Turns into bears. I, and they look like, yeah, they, they look either werewolves or bears. Look at her. That's the one I was wondering. Look more like a bird Pokemon. Yeah, these are, these are actually mythical. Looks like a little radiant. These are, yeah, 
yeah, these are mythical, not not legendary. What did you think of this first look? Pretty good, pretty good. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released June 2020, and the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in we'll have money and then we'll have time to like play the full game and then... Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, You'll yeah. be able to enjoy both. I, just, I, well, I was thinking about doing a remake, and maybe we could actually have time to do the whole thing. Right, play a remake. Play it Each again. Part offers a different adventure. Oh, is there a price for it, or? Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon. It sounds like it's boring. Oh no, it says it looping. There are two versions of the expansion pass. Two versions. One for Pokemon Sword. Oh. And one for Pokemon Shield. Okay. Different Pokemon so will appear in the different versions, yeah. and yeah. you'll also run into some different people and places. Okay, okay. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and right. working together. Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Okay. Mr. Tani? I just hope... Oh, now, now I'm more excited about Pokemon Bank than anything, just because now I, that's the only other way I think I can get... Hello, I'm Tani from Game Freak. I'm working as the say, director girl? for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Okay. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. Okay. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art. I was going to say, that's why, that's why concept art is good. Like, good looking concept art. Like, if we don't have gameplay, show me at least something. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Growth. Take a look. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. The next oh, this, this looks nice. Is that another battle tower? There's island a Waylord over there. The what, which one was this one? This, that's from Sun and Moon, right? That fletchling. Fletchling. This right? island no. is full of beautiful that's, that's X and y, My bad. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes, <laughs> and of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. I'm not sure if it's still capturing this audio, but I want to hear. A dojo for Pokemon battles I'm thinking, on like, this if I wear my headphones, can I hear You'll it? You'll take and up an apprenticeship be... under the Pokemon trainer oh, who look. runs it. Uh, let me let me let me put that that. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's mm. also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. Mm -hmm. In Mustard. fact, Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. Right, that's cool. Oh, You'll gonna also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. Oh, okay. When playing with the Pokemon <gasps> Sword Expansion Pass, oh no, that means I get the Flora, weird one. Who is a Poison type user? When playing with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, nah. you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic type user. No, why They're do I get the guy? Hard so they can someday have a oh, look, see, they have. See, to call they own. actually have those costumes. We're waiting for them. They have because you can buy those costumes, but no other Pokemon, Pokemon trainer has central to the story. Key. He's a key. <gasps> Oh. Cub Fu. It's a fighting type Pokemon that strives to become stronger with single minded dedication. It's a little bit. As it's you a... progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Oh, so it's just us. That Once you cool. complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. Whoa, two times? Urshifu is yeah. a Pokemon with two distinct styles. Why do I like the shield? There is butter. single strike style. A fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. Fighting dark. What's the other one? Fighting steel? There is also rapid strike style. A fighting and water type style oh, that's cool. that focuses on unleashing a Sorry, ton of rapid strikes. <laughs> What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. Yay. Each style oh, will cool. have a different appearance Nalsa? as well as a yeah, different max move. You'll be able to evolve your Cub Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles, Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Style, during your adventure. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability, and it oh, also you know, I think, has a I think I get the fighting type two one, styles. unless they're just... Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official mm. competitions. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon. Final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Galaxy. Look at y'all, brah. During your adventure Look in the Isle of Armor, yeah, it is these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You, you know, there's only some, because you gotta, you gotta look for those specific Pokemon in, um, in the wild area. Here, I actually caught myself a Gigantamax Butterfree, and it looks like, it looks like that, that monster from Godzilla, the one, the butterfly one. That's how crazy it looks. Well, if you can color we your hope bikes. you look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor. It's 
pretty good. So what about two? Is there like just more and more or? Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra, the second area, which has a theme of exploration. Exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. See, I, I like this. Like, concept art just makes you... This expansion is set in the yeah. snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, <clears throat> with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Oh, uh, nice. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be Oops. plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. More mythical Pokémon. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. A certain person. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. What do you mean? Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokemon you'll discover during your Okay, so legendary. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. Get ready to experience a never-before-told story Second about the mysteries of Calyrex. Uh -huh. The Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. <clears throat> this will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that look, it's all blocked. underground in the Crown Tundra. Can we, like, can we do local Deep play? inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before your uh -oh, eyes. Oh, that's Mewtwo. You'll be able to meet and make yeah. allies of all kinds of legendary Pokemon during Damn, your yeah, adventures in the Crown Tundra. Look at the Dynamax. Including oh. ones you'll be able to meet through this co-op play. So co let's go, I'm gonna go get Dialga. Look, that's that Reggie, Reggie, Reggie Ice, Reggie Pokemon Steel. Pokemon are also waiting to be found somewhere mm. in this land. That look cool, man. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items. Oh, oh you can wear Marnie and Rose? What the heck? Look, Plus, there will player. be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire oh, well, game, you can including get... the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. You can get sponsorships. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokémon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are, in fact, seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Gala region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them, too. There will be Pokemon oh, dens yeah, as well. More wild areas you'll be able cool. to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. Okay. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the wild area. We'll bring huh. you more information about them in future news reports, mm -hmm. so please stay tuned. Okay, that's probably the next direct, you know? I think that's it. What did you think? We at Game Freak are all working hard minutes. to bring you new content. So you can spend more time having fun in the Galar region. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Never mind, that's a guy. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokémon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. <laughs> there will be more than 200 Pokémon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokémon mentioned before. I don't see... Additionally, Looks right. we'll be distributing free updates for Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield okay. that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Okay. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the yeah, Isle of they're not gonna make you the Crown Tundra pay for the Pokemon, means, That's such as trading. But for story Players content, yeah, I'll pay for that. To bring over Pokemon to their game from the cloud service. Oh, Pokemon see, Pokemon Home. Home. As long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. Oh, okay. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. Okay, see, next year. So I can kind of look into... I mean, we intend oh, to release... Oh, oh, oh next month, my bad. <laughs> just so, so used just to just waiting for stuff. Now we're here. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Hmm. 
Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokémon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Okay. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokémon Sword, you'll encounter Ooh. Clara. Oh, no. While in Pokémon Shield, you'll run into Yo, what? Avery. Yeah, he's a psychic type. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your team. He's Galarian a fire Slowpoke type? can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor. Okay. Or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Uh -huh. Don't forget to check it out. What did you think? Pretty exciting stuff. Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going Damn, forward. that's a lot of good stuff, bro. We hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Yeah. Each part like an, I'm an elf, uh, summer and fall. Yeah, yeah another guy announced Cinderace for like you've never experienced before. <laughs> now we already got a fire type. It has to be... Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, mm -hmm. we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Yeah. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. All right, I will do. <laughs> My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, for 30, will be okay. available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop later today. Oh, okay. I can have it ready today. You'll also be able to act. Oh, looks like we finally caught up. So we can add it to uh, the menu from our menus. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, pretty good. So, so far, I mean, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I actually thought they'd reveal or, or at least talk about more stuff um in regards to other mobile stuff but they did talk about like the important stuff i think it was you know um pokemon shield pokemon home um and they did reveal a mystery dungeon remake for all those fans uh but i mean i think they still need to mention something about pokemon sleep but even that i sleep <laughs> you know like i don't know how excited i am for that i don't play pokemon go i feel like that's more in that territory um I'm excited with the new stuff, with the new Pokemon. Um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, what do you think? You, you just finished the game. You're still going through the uh, post-game. Yeah, so you could I finish, probably I finish all the post-game stuff, you know. But, you know, as I said, you know, I, in the expansion pass, there is some other region Pokemon that are, you know, going to be cool to see. So it's going to be a nice extra adventure to see. Yeah, if anything, now I'll take my time and finish the post-game. And then after that, maybe, you know, try out other games like you know you can play zelda on your on your light and all that stuff and i'll finish whatever i have to do but honestly yeah everybody's saying f in the chat but it's because <laughs> it looped but there's only like like 30 seconds left it's already 9 53 um so yeah thanks guys for joining if you have um be excited about more pokemon stuff um i do a lot of uh gameplays at the moment, uh, I, I might do commentary soon since I just got my mic for Christmas and I'm just setting everything up. But, um, you know, I do um, Nintendo content on the channel. I have uh, also two other channels for art and movies that I'm going to get started. So uh, if you want, you can subscribe to those. Just <clears throat> check out the link in the description. And other than that, I think that's pretty much everything so far. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.